another notation attempting to stay on topic this time. Red eye. Alright, red eye. Take red pills. One of the uh, lasers, there were two shooting at my house. One of them has been removed. The first one was a bit more technological. It had an actual camera lens on the front of it. It was posted in my backyard on the uh, street lamp. It tasted and smelled like it was coming from the Middle East somewhere. Something told me to blurt about it being Saudi Arabia. Watching the Animatrix, the Animatrix suggests that the source of life coming from zero one is in Saudi Arabia. I guess you could pass from Middle Eastern. Don't know much about the Middle East. Don't have any Middle Eastern family or friends. Just assuming that YouTube goes all the way around the world. Could be that deep. It could be why you're being harassed. The thing about it is there's a lot of negative connotations that come with being Middle Eastern. I'm asked on the regular by, you know, other civilians. I got asked by a girl just yesterday <clears throat> why I have to get winded down when I return from my visits. And she asked me if I was a terrorist for being, you know, mistreated the way that I have in this country. Being misraised and everything. And basically left for dead. Being asked if you are a terrorist is very insulting. <laughs> Just the fact that, you know, being Middle Eastern has a connotation of being a terrorist is a, a terrible thing in this country. So, I totally neglect that notion now. Because I hate to think I'd be being held captive in this country for potentially being a terrorist and didn't know it, whatever that's supposed to mean. That's just how they're presenting it. And I spent time in Dallas County Jail, had some fellows tell me I look like I'm from Iraq. Being at a time of your life where you don't necessarily know where you're from, stuff like that will get to you. Course brought up why would that matter but the one posted in the backyard it definitely looks like something that would be used in the desert call it a desert eagle call it whatever you want to call it it was coming from the Middle East over that direction it's wired to Sirius 7, I don't know which one it is, I guess you would just call it Sirius. It's a satellite that's posted over this country, or potentially worldwide. When I go outside after I got pelted to death with this laser cannon, you look up in the sky, something like so, and I could feel the satellite following me around actually outside while I was walking when I left the house too alleviate the headache of being shot at with the satellite itself. When you go outside, you can feel the satellite following you around. It gives you a vibe of feeling like you're on TV. That's why I get back to saying potentially you may have been a celeb in the past life because you can see something like that getting you mentally prepared for being a celebrity. <laughs> Not long ago, I would have been too frightened to uh, thrust myself into YouTube. Thrust yourself into YouTube. Especially spilling beans about 
conspiracy notes. So maybe a large Saudi Arabia has something to do with it, but from the radio shooting into your house, taking red pills and being able to perceive, you know, voices across the radio. Keanu Reeves, another one of my guys out there. I got a crush on Keanu Reeves, majorly. It's been another big brother. It's The Matrix is one of my forte films. Keanu Reeves and Jay-Z have both disclosed across the same radio after the, the Middle Eastern one has been removed that I was Hawaiian. Kind of rang a bell when I heard it as I was alert and awake. I was on red pills when I heard about it. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. And since then, life has been hell. I'm taking it, there were other uh, local party police people in the area that could also perceive and hear these gentlemen, as every time these gentlemen appear to me in whichever fashion, whether it be in the dream world or while I'm awake, and I can hear them across the radio, mm -hmm. once I go to sleep, I'm assaulted by uh, dream figures, dream demons, I guess you would call them demons at large. Where I'm threatened with the police in my dreams. They know how to call and contact you. And try to make you feel like a peace in this country. And your daily needings are based on how awake you are and how much sleep you get. And my life keeps backpedaling into jail or hospital. That's why you're here, to keep that from happening. So, assuming the magnitude of being Jesus Christ, that is who you are, you cannot be shaken from this. Surely, central intelligence or the federal agency knows who you are. National security isn't necessarily a friend of yours. As they keep, you know, arresting you and trying to trap you up. Why they would want to trap you in this country, not necessarily sure, I guess people are bored. <laughs>